This short video is a demonstration of how to make adjustments to the holding force of the Sargent 351 EHT solenoid. Open the door and remove the door closer cover by relaxing the two screws securing the cover to the closer. Do not completely remove the screws from the closer body. On the back side of the cover is a paper instruction that demonstrates simple door closer adjustments. Set aside being careful not to misplace the screws. Remove the inspection plate on the track by loosening the three machine screws. Place the screws in a safe location. Now loosen the 2.5mm hex lock down screw as shown. Now turn the knurled wheel clockwise to increase holding force and counterclockwise to decrease the holding force. When you have obtained the desired holding force, retighten the lock down screw. Test the device to ensure the desired holding force meets the requirements of the opening. This can be done by pressing the on off switch or a remote release, in this case a fob, to release and or engage the solenoid. Note that excessive holding force can be damaging while minimal holding force can sometimes instigate the door to be released if it is bumped by someone or something. With that in mind, adjust the spring power of the closer to a size that provides enough force to positively close and latch the door, required for a fire rated opening, but not enough to apply excessive spring power against the solenoid. Replace the inspection cover. Replace the closer cover and tighten the two screws. and now perform a final operational check. It should be noted that in the event the door will be repeatedly released from the hold open position, it is advised that an external switch be placed in the opening to release the device as opposed to being released by pulling the door closed. If this is not possible, the test button on off switch will suffice as a means of switching the device. This will save wear and tear on the holding mechanism and reduce the possibility of hinge, door and frame damage.